I'm doing a little indoor product photography setup in my makeshift home studio. Here's a Octabox by Glow. This is the largest one. 60 inch, this is a 60 inch. And I have another, this is a diffuser little thing on an Evolve 200. Right there. And I have another one of these in that, in that soft box. And I'm using a Canon EOS R with the massive 28 to 70 millimeter RF zoom lens. Here's the Flashpoint R2 Pro 2. And I'm connecting, I'm tethered, so I'm shooting with a tether cable, USB-C, all the way to my laptop here. I'm, I'm tethering with Lightroom. And then this is the tether that I have, USB 3.0, not USB-C. And I was having trouble connecting I was using this, a Moken. This is a dongle that, that connects the USB-C to USB 3.0. The camera wasn't opening when I used this one. So I had another one and then it just happened to work with this one. This is a Chan, no, Chargin, Chargin Pro. That would be interesting to, to test out which adapter works with the setup, but this particular one, and I'll put a link below in the description of this video, with this Tether Tools cable, works with Lightroom on a Mac with the EOS R. One thing that I discovered with these cables can be quite expensive. This cable runs maybe $60, $70. I'm gonna turn this off right now. This cable, this is a USB-C cable, and it's 15, it's 15 feet long and it goes in there and that's fine. It, it works great. Tether Tools, reliable brand, good product with this cable. A lot of other people have it. But let's say you have multiple cameras that aren't USB-C. You have to buy a completely different cable that is USB 3.0 or USB 2.0, whatever connection you have. As an example, here's my 5D Mark IV, and the 5D Mark IV does not have a USB-C connection. The 5D Mark IV has a USB 3.0, that kind of cable design. So how can I use, I'll have to buy another completely different cable just for the 5D Mark IV. Another, I believe that one is $50 plus tax. So you're looking at over almost $150 worth of these tether tool cables just so that you can have for each camera where I would like to have one per camera. I mean, where, where I would like to use one cable for both. So I discovered this here. This is the tether tools, USB 3.0, uh, uh, USB to female active extension. What you have here is an extension for the, for if you already have another tether tools cable to make it even longer, to take it to 30 feet, because I believe this is 15, so 15 plus 15. But if you don't want to use it as, as an extension, I was thinking of grabbing another cable. Where do I have it here? Okay. So here's a standard USB 3.0 cable that connects into my uh, 5D, Mark, 5D Mark IV. All I have to do is connect this to that, and then this end, this male end of the USB 3.0, plug it into that extender, and now I have a tethering system with the, with the high quality Tether Tools product, and I don't have to buy multiple expensive connections just for each camera. So I, I can get one of these for a USB-C, and instead of buying this USB-C cable, which now that I learned that, that this, they make this product, I probably wouldn't have bought the USB-C. I would have just purchased this Tether Tools USB 3.0 cable, a USB to female active extension. And then I would have had these smaller cables to, to use it. And now I'm gonna do a test to see if this actually works. Success, here is the Canon 5D Mark IV with the USB 3.0 cable. And this is just a generic cable that I took off of a hard drive. Plugging that in there, and this is plugged into 
that Thunder, uh, the USB 3.0 Tether Tools female extender. There's my other cable, the, that's a USB-C cable. And I plugged it just like this, and it's going all the way in, plugged into the exact same Charge-In Pro, and that's into my MacBook Pro. And there you can see Lightroom, uh, focus, focus, focus. There we go. Lightroom is reading the camera, the Canon EOS 5D Mark IV. So this does work. Not sure if anyone else needs to do that, but this is a, uh, this could be a nice little tip to save a few bucks for those who are shooting tethered and want one cable for multiple cameras.